Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario. In the last episode, we made our way to chapter 3. Ooh, which uh, we're gonna have to find Hubba Blubba, because apparently they have the next star spirit. But in order to get there, we need to go to Gusty Gulch, but I guess we're having to come to this haunted mansion. And we took a path through the Forever Forest, which goes on forever because man those pathways were a bit crazy as you as if you watched last episode i go i recommend you guys go and watch that because it was pretty funny <laughs> um but in this episode we're going to continue through and go and find the butler's the boo butler's master that's inside and apparently the master is up at the top floor so i just want to explore a little bit because obviously i've never played this game before in my life Actually, as many Mario games as I've played in my life, I've never played the first Paper Mario. I played Thousand Year Door, but I just haven't played this one, so. I'm just gonna look around. You just, you know, furniture here. It's pretty spacious, though. Not gonna lie. I like it. Oh, hello! Okay, so we can't go th Oh! No, we can go through here. Okay. Hello? Oh, there's a boo outside, I see. Oh, I can rock. I don't suppose this does anything, or... No. Nothing. Okay. Anything here? Nope. Alright, just checking. We might have to come back here later, because this might be important. I can't break that, so... Just going back through. Is there another door somewhere, or is that it? That's it. Alright, let's head upstairs then. We need to make our way to the third floor, I believe. Uh, let's see, there's a door there, a door there. Hello? Hi, did I startle you? You want to go up to the third floor, don't you? Well, I'm afraid you'll have to go and find... Go find whatever's missing from this frame. If you manage to find it, I'll let you go upstairs. Mwahaha! ha ha Bo is such a harsh boo. Testing her guests like this... Oh. Bo? That's the bedroom. So we're gonna have to find the painting? Oh. Oh, hello. Mario, you have come. If you want this record, you must guess who holds it. Oh, it's one of those again. The Lady Bo will be very angry if we let him get it too easily, fellow boos. Do your best like we practiced. Okay, so he's the one that's carrying it, but I have to watch where he drops. Oh, I see. Okay, I know I know which one it is. Uh, boos, boos, who's gotta choose, choose. Okay. Gotcha. I, I could really read that because I was watching. No, boo-hoo. You, you guessed right. Go on, take this. Oh, boo. Lady Bo's really going to flip out on us. You got that right. <laughs> Goodbye. You got the record. A record of upbeat music. How can you play this? Oh, there's probably a record player somewhere. Okay, there's nothing there anymore. <gasps> oh! Oh, really? I'm not gonna try the other one. Oh, that's dirty. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go through the other door. See what's in here. Okay. Ah, this is where we could play it. Hello. Yes, record. Tap A to play the record. You've got to have rhythm. Don't press it too fast or too slow. If you press B while it's playing, the record will stop. I like the sound. <laughs> I like 
I like how it actually sounds like it's playing a record. That's cool. <laughs> um, just gonna play the whole song. <laughs> how much do I have to do this? Um, I like how the booze dancing too is so so cool. Um. Does it just go on forever, or can I stop at some point? I'm a little bit- I'm confused. Um. I'm just gonna play it really fast! Okay, can I stop? Okay. Oh yeah, such rhythm! What a groove! Party! Oh, so it's supposed to block him from the... Oh, okay. Yeah, that was like... I'm like, am I, is it something supposed to happen? I guess not. You got the weight! A very heavy weight. How can you use this? Oh no! Lady Bo gave me one job! To guard that treasure chest! She's gonna punish me so bad if she finds out about this! Oh, well, I may still be okay. <laughs> it's not like you can get anywhere without knowing how to use that weight. I think I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh. 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 Mario, are you okay? He's fine. Okay. I know where to use this weight, actually. Remember that room downstairs? It's a good thing that we explored. Okay, so this is post me speaking, post savvy during editing because um, I had to sneeze, I muted, and guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to mute, I forgot to unmute myself. But um, yeah, uh, since we got the weight, I'm looking around and I jumped into this pot here and I'm just like, oh my god, it's so cute. Um, I can't believe we turned into 8-Bit uh, Mario. That was such a cool Easter egg there. But um, yeah, so I'm looking around trying to figure out how to use the weight and I'm just like, Hmm, I thought it was going to be used on this platform on the bottom here, but I cannot believe that I forgot to unmute. That whole time, the entire time throughout the rest of this part. And this is like early in the episode. This is like less than eight minutes in and I totally, oh my gosh, I don't know what my brain was thinking. But, you know, I'm looking around, I'm looking in the cabinet there and I'm like, hmm. And then I remembered like, oh, uh, well, I'd go back upstairs because I'm like, well... We, d we got the first item, we got the record from the first room, and then we played the record and got the weight in the second room, so there's no way to do this. And don't worry, guys, um, I'm actually going to be doing the voices again because um, I'm going to give you guys some immersion with this, but oh my god, I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm so sorry that this happened. I I'm mad at myself, but I this uh, this is a very rare occurrence for me to do this. Um, usually, I'm pretty quick with it. I'm like, oh, I forgot to unmute, or um, I'll just reload to save, and nope, this entire time, and nope. So I go and check these other rooms here, and I'm leaving this in because this was part of just the exploration part of me trying to figure it out, and this gives me some time to talk to you guys about just how stupid I am. <laughs> But uh, finally we come back out here and I'm just like, it can't be outside, right? And then I see this cushion here and I jump on it and boom, look at that. Look at that right on top. And uh, we grab the chandelier and guess what? That's what the weight is used for, see? Grab the weight and it stays right there. And then there's that secret entrance there, which actually leads to the basement and I see this chest here and I'm like ooh what's in here and no the chandelier almost crushes me so I'm like uh no I'm not I'm not doing that again not doing that again so we come back down we come downstairs into the basement um 
and it looks like that there's some more stuff to be found here and this is and i'm thinking oh this is probably where we actually find the thing for the portrait and um there's a couple things beforehand and there's another one of those uh which you'll find out in just a second i see this big chest i'm like ooh, this is probably here nope it's a lot of booze that come out and um it's another one of those uh i guess visual puzzles mario welcome if you want these boots you must guess who holds them the Lady Bow will be very angry if you let him get them too easily, fellow boos. Do your best like we practiced. Yep, and so I'm just like looking, and I'm like, oh no, this is different. They're throwing it at each other, so... But it was pretty easy to find, and I skipped the dialogue at the top because it's really hard to read while trying to focus on where it is. <laughs> but there it is, and we got the boots! You got the super boots! The attack power of Mario's jump increases! And now you can do the spin jump by pressing A again while in the air! Yep, so our damage increases with our jumps now, which is really good. No, Boo-Hoo! You, you guessed right! Go on, take them! Oh, Boo, now Lady Bo's really going to flip out on us! She sure is. She sure is. So they disappear. And there's like a couple that appear, I guess. But now with that, we're actually to break, able to break those boards. And the basement goes even deeper, <laughs> which is crazy. And this is cool because there's a shop here. At first I thought, oh, badges. No, there is a shop. Um, but then I saw this exclamation button and I'm just like, ooh. And then it's just a big old button. I'm like, oh my gosh. And you have to jump up on the furniture there in the slab. And then use our new boots for that. And it creates a staircase, a, sh a shortcut. Staircase shortcut. Just like that. And, uh... Yeah, so I can't buy anything from the shop right now. Only because... Uh, Lady Bo is not permitting us right now. Um, but later on, we'll actually be able to use it. And you'll see in just a moment. Well, not a moment, but you'll see in a little bit. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, so we just make our way back up. And I'm like, oh, so the... And at first I'm thinking it's upstairs, and then I changed my mind, because I'm like, oh, wait, no, it's, it's actually downstairs. Duh. Duh, Savvy. Duh. <laughs> because there's that floorboard that's there that we actually could use our new boots now to break. And just like that, yep. Come back down, and we're in this little library section. And I see this little gap here, and I'm like, oh, this is a great place to use paracarry. For sure. Oh, and just to give you guys some, just, uh, instead of just giving you a play-by-play -play all the time, um, I'm going to talk a little bit on the side with this. But we reached uh, 850 subscribers, by the way, which is not really, like, major milestone, but we've come a long way. And um, I, I use Bombette here, by the way, because I saw the wall there, and there's, like, nothing else in that room as I go and check. But, um... Yeah, so 850 subscribers. I can't think of you guys enough for that. And it sounds like a lot. 150, 150 left in order to reach the 1,000 sub goal, which will be like obviously the biggest miles, one of the biggest milestones in the channel's history. Um, which the first one was 500. Uh, the next one's going to be a thousand. But um, yeah, no, I, I want to thank you guys enough. Oh, yeah, so we used the boost portrait that we got from downstairs, and we put it in here. Phew, ah, that feels better. It's nice to be back inside my frame after so long. All right, then. I'll help you go to the third floor, okay? Jump toward the drawing, and I'll take care of the rest. Yep, so we jump into the painting, and we're able to get up to the third floor. Say hello to Bo for me. Yep. And I'll continue talking after we actually get through the cutscene here. And I'm just like, oh, there's two doors here. Does it lead to different wa ways? No, it leads to the same place. But here we are. Gwahi ha ha! You finally arrived! You took your sweet time, huh? I was testing you to see if you live up to your reputation. How are the tests? Tough? There she is. Lady Bo. My name is Bo. I'm glad to finally meet you. I'm Bootler, the butler. I'm Lady Bo's humble servant. 
The reason I asked you here is that I need a favor. Bootler, give him the rundown. Of course, my lady. Mario, do you know the area near, near here called Gust Gulch? A hill rises at the top of the gulch, and upon it sits the castle of Tubba Blubber. He is a monster, and he eats us, ghosts! Booze are his favorite food. Many friends have been eaten. We've tried attacking the evil fiend to save our friends, but Tubba Blubber is far too strong for us Booze to slow him down even slightly. He seems invincible. That's why he's known as the Invincible Tubba Blubber. There is hope, however. If the rumors are true, then Tubba Blubber has a secret that he closely guards, and that secret is probably something that relates to his weak point. So, Mario, I want you to find out his secret and defeat him. You'll do it, you'll do it, won't you? Of course, you'll get a reward for doing us this service. If you beat Tubba Blubber up, I'll let you have this. And big reveal, uh, she has a star spirit. Um, Mario, I'm sorry we must meet in such dire situation. My name is Scholar. <laughs> Scholar, I did the same mistake. I escaped from Tabba Blubba's castle, but... I was in quite a weakened state when I made it outside. As a result, I couldn't go back to the sky at first. I tried to head for Shooting Star Summit to make the leap to Star Haven, but I became lost in the forest. While hunting for a way out, I was captured by Booze, and now here I am. I don't know what to say. What do you think, Mario? Not such a bad deal, is it? You would have had to fight Tubba Blubber to save this star spirit anyway, right? This way, you help us Booze, too. Besides, I'm going with you. I'll help you like no one else can. My lady, what did you just say now? You, at, at Tubba Blubber's castle? Quite out of the question. I simply cannot allow you to put yourself in such danger. Fill your tongue, Bootler. I've seen too much suffering caused by Tubba Blubber. I wish to see him punished with my own two eyes. Besides, Mario will need me. There's no way he could reach the castle without my powers. Oh, alas then, Lady I, Bootler, will accompany you. It is my sworn duty to see that no harm befalls you. The ancestors demand it. It will be at your side always. You stop that nonsense! I'm not a child anymore. I'll be fine by myself. You wait here for my return. La uh, lady. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Is that alright, Mario? I'll join up with you until we oust Tubba Blubber. And with that, Bo joined the party, like it or not. Press down to have her make both... Have you both become transparent so no one will notice you. Yay! <laughs> yep, but if you move or press down, you won't be transparent anymore. You'll return to normal. While in battle, she can slap enemies silly with her smack attack. Or use out of sight to make you both become transparent so you can elude enemy attacks. Okay then, Tubba Blubba's going down. <laughs> yep, and we talked to Bootler one more time. Lady Bo, please come back to us as soon as possible. Hush up, Bootler. You be quiet and take care of the mansion while I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, she she's uh she's sassy for sure. Um <laughs> But yeah, we uh we make our way out. I am just looking around to see if there's anything I can pick up or go through another door or something cuz I'm thinking like, well, how are we getting to Gusty Gulch? Are we having to go through the Forever Forest again? Because, and take another way? Because I'm like, I'm not going through that again. Or is there another path that we take? And before we do that, I actually go and, you know, get some health, even though I didn't need it. <laughs> and I also save. I'm never going to remember exactly. <laughs> um, but what I do instead is I, uh, we go back in. And I cut this part out where we're going back to the shop because there's actually a couple items that I'm like, yes, I need this. And I don't have enough room for the amount of the same item that I want to buy. So, because um, I'm looking at mystery, because it's just a random item, stopwatch, paralyzes enemies, the snowman doll crushes, it does attack power four, which is pretty interesting. There's obviously the maple syrup. Life shroom, I'm like, yes, please because that is definitely a lifesaver. So I was thinking of buying two of them, but I'm like, these super shrooms, they give 10 HP instead of the five from the regular mushroom. 
and I'm just like, I give me a lot of these, please. And then I start carrying too much, and then I'm like, I need to sell some of these items that I know I'm not going to be using. I sell some of the honey syrup because I already have a maple syrup, and then I sell the dried mushroom because, like, it only gives me one HP. <laughs> so there's no reason for me to use it, and it just wastes a turn. Like, if I'm using up a turn, it's going to be using one of those super shrooms or even just a regular mushroom because it, it'll at least give me more health than one. So then I clear up my inventory and I start buying, like, how many do I buy? Just two more. Which, looking at it now, I can actually buy the snowman that I was thinking about because I still have space for one more, but I wasn't really thinking straight. So let's just go back upstairs and then we actually make our way, finally, to Gusty Gulch. But um, I leave this leave the part in. So back to what I was saying before, but yeah, I mean, 150 subscribers sounds like a lot to reach the 1,000 subscriber goal, but I mean... We're already at 850, and I mean, it's been, it's been definitely over a year. Um, it's closer to getting to two years since I've actually been fully uploading videos, and I know um, last year, last year was pretty amazing with how much we grew in a short amount of time. And really, I think that our progress in this has been pretty steady as well. I think recently we've been gaining more subscribers again and it's been doing really well so um oh here we are go ahead open it so she has the booze open it and then we actually make our way to gust gulch which is the pathway that's veering off from the mansion so mario run away are you scared no not scared at all of course not of course not but um yeah, uh, and then there's these new Goombas that we come across too, which is pretty interesting. And apparently, uh, there's a big surprise attack that they do that I was not expecting. And these are going to be enemies that I'm probably going to be avoiding for most of the time. Yeah, depending on how it goes, really. And I was testing out her smack attack, which is pretty funny. But the way I have to, like, move the joystick is a little bit weird. So, <laughs> I'm just like, eh. That's fine. So yeah, um, and then there's like a, a fight coming up soon where it will actually level up because we're getting really close as you can see by star points. It's going to be pretty cool. And then I was testing out the <laughs> that because it makes us invisible, but we can't, cannot move when we're invisible. So we just have to sit still for a minute, but we're fighting more Goombas. But yeah, again, I want to thank you guys so much for the support. and. I mean, if you guys want to support the channel in any way, obviously you can, uh, I mean, I'll probably go through this again at the end, but you can like the video, you can subscribe if you haven't, it would really mean the world to me, uh, reaching a thousand subs, you can even share this video if you want to as well, you can tell your friends if they're interested, we have a lot of content on the channel, a lot of Let's Plays, so, and there's going to be so many more in the future too, so... I mean, Paper Mario is definitely not going to be the last Let's Play we do, because I let you guys make that choice for what games you want to see me play next, and there's still so many out there that I definitely want to do that you guys can choose from that I really want to play, too. And um, I'm not really sure how long Paper Mario is going to be. I mean, we're in Chapter 3, and I think there's eight chapters, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I believe there's seven or eight chapters, something like that. The last chapter obviously being Fighting Bowser, I'm sure. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, spread the word about the channel. You can share the video. You can tell your friends, your family. Just any way to support the channel. It, it would mean the world to me. Um, and I appreciate your guys' support already just by watching the video and by leaving a like on the video too. It just helps a lot. Oh, Lady Bo, what a surprise! You know, your ladyship, you really shouldn't come around here. It's dangerous. Tabba Blubba could come here at any time. I know, I came here to teach that Tabba Blubba a lesson. Bring him on. When I was, when was the last time he came through here? Why, just yesterday, lady. It was horrible. He, uh, this time he ate Herbert. Oh, it was gruesome. Poor Herbert. He was so dark and depressing. What a terrific boo. <laughs> so funny. Oh no, not Herbert. Oh, Tubba Blubba, he must be stopped. Listen, everyone, don't fear. We're on our way to defeat this Tubba Blubba once and for all. That monster has eaten his last boo meal. 
Oh, lady, your bravery is inspiring. But, you know, he's called the Invincible Tub of Blubba. Please be... Please? Please be careful, okay? Please be careful. <laughs> and there's a save block there, but I'm like, um, I'm gonna keep going a little bit. Because it's only like 25 minutes, so you gotta watch out when you when you fight Hyper Goombas. They charge up their attack power and then unleash it. The best thing to do when they get charged up is to get out of sight with Lady Bow. I had a friend who escaped from Tubba Blubba's castle the other day, and he said, The key to solving this secret is inside the innermost room. Pay attention to both the heart and the body, and don't. Then, just as he was finishing, Tubba Blubba ate him. I wonder what the rest of his message was. That's a good question. Psst, buddy, did you know you could walk slowly and subtly by moving the control stick a little bit? You could use this technique to walk quietly and avoid waking sleeping people. Yeah, that's a good thing. I started doing it a little bit, and then there was a invisible... Not invisible, there was a hidden block there. It's pretty cool. And yeah, I'm like, I need this health because I got hit pretty hard with that Goomba earlier. Uh oh. Hello there! You're going up to beat Tubba Blubba, right? Yeah, get revenge. He'll never get another, eat another ghost. Never! Especially not. Oh. Oh, oh no! Tubba Blubba's coming! Everybody hide! Lady Bo, you have to hide Mario. Mario, we have to hide. Use my power. Immediately press down. And so we do that, and there he is. Tubba Blubba. Everything's cool, lady. He can't see you. Nope, there's no way Tubba Blubba can see you right now. Uh. Mmm, looks yummy. I needed a snack. I can't have this voice. This is funny. Uh, a little tangy, but good. Oh, I did the I did the first a little tangy but good. <laughs> That's gonna be his voice. Oh, Stanley! Oh, the horror of it all. Oh no, poor Stanley. Well, we just keep going. That poor village is completely destroyed unless it's supposed to look like that. And then I see that oh, and I hit this rock guy, and I'm just I don't know why I decided to fight this guy. I guess I'm like you know I kept avoiding the the regular ones, the normal ones. So I'm like. I'll just fight this green one, which is pretty stupid because the green ones charge up and they could do so much damage. And I'm sure that the regular guys, which I believe, I, yeah, I have fought one before, they can do mm, damage, a little bit of damage, but with them charged up like that, very scary. Very scary indeed. Uh, <laughs> but I take them on anyway and I use, uh, I use out of sight again. Or I don't. Yeah. So that only, that is seven, which is a lot, and I'm like, whoa. They do so much damage for no reason. Um, it's crazy. But I think they only have four health, and the hammer's really the only way to do it, because even with uh, <laughs> Bo's smack attack, it's not working, unfortunately. Yeah, and then he charges up again, and I'm like, uh, let's do... I was, like, looking at items for a moment, but I'm just like, you know what, let's do a hammer again. And I defeated him, thankfully, <laughs> before he could actually hit me with the attack. And we're really close to level up. Very, very close indeed. Very, very close indeed. But yeah, um, I really hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, though. I know with it being my first time, there's going to be a lot of moments where it's not going to really be the most fluid. Like, I definitely don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where things are. But you guys can leave tips and not spoilers, but definitely tricks that I could do or badges you might want to suggest me use instead just to help me with my battles. Because I know... I had a, two game overs in one episode, which is crazy. And also, I tried to get across with Paracarry, and it, it was not working at all. And then I found this Propel Gel, which makes Mario transparent and invulnerable for a short amount of time. Which I'm like, eh, that's cool. And then we come across a letter here, which is given to Feist T near the entrance on Forever Forest. Which is pretty easy to find, because if we go the wrong path, it'll take us back to the beginning. So, but yeah. Um... Oh yeah, here's the fight that we actually do. There's a lot of Goombas here, and uh, I use I use the um, what do I do? Oh, right, I use Lullaby. I use Lullaby for this, as you'll see in a second, because there was so many of them, and a lot of them are gonna charge up. So I'm like, I need to give, I need to buy myself some time, and I definitely want to use this battle to give myself a level up. So yeah, I use Lullaby for this. But anyway, uh. <laughs> so yeah, um, definitely give me tips and tricks. I've I've been enjoying this game so far. I've actually been having a lot of fun with it. Um, being a, 
I mean, I don't really know everything with Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, but it definitely was an enjoyable game, and just playing Paper Mario, I mean, brings back those kind of memories, too. And just playing this... This game, even though I've never played it before, just I love it so much. I, I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. And I'm glad I'll be, I'm, we're going to be playing these in the order. Probably not Paper Mario, then the next Paper Mario right after it. Unless you guys want that. But we might want to do maybe some variety here and there. Which actually, if you guys haven't watched my Straw Humans Let's Play, I have thought about at some point maybe putting into the poll list of games that you want to see me play next when we get close to finishing this game. Uh, if you want to see me play Destroy All Humans 2, which I do have the remastered version of that one, much like how I had the remastered version of the first one. And uh, I enjoyed the first one so much. I mean, even in the past, like the, the original one, it's, it's such a funny game and it's so it's such a good time. I recommend it, I recommend it. Um, same thing with the second game, too, so I'm not thinking about it. But there's other games, too, that I do have on my mind as well that we'll probably get around to doing. Um, but yeah, once we actually defeat this, my health is very low and I'm very scared. And I'm glad that this Goomba took the time to charge up because he didn't take any more health from me. And I was able to defeat him right here. And look at that! We level up! And I took this opportunity to actually... Uh, th I thought about it for a moment, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get more badge points. I'm gonna get more badge points because I want to be able to use more badges. And the one that I use, that I was thinking about using, was the HP plus button, or <laughs> button, HP plus badge, because I'm like, I only have three to use. Excuse me, three to use. So I'm like, yeah, damage dodges sounds. That sounds good, but HP plus is definitely what I need. I need a lot of health, and using a badge is probably really good too instead of using a level up for that because who knows how long it'll take until we actually level up again. So I just took that opportunity to do that. And <laughs> there's a bit here that I cut out like two different fights because I kept getting caught in it with that stupid rock enemy. So I'm like, yeah, let's get out of here. But, um, yeah, here we go. We are approaching a save block, which I was very happy about. <laughs> oh my god, a hiccup. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I have the hiccups. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, but then I come in here, and I'm just like, um, uh, this is, this is probably save, I'm gonna save this for another episode, so. But we reached the end of the episode, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, next episode, I will not actually, <laughs> actually be recording my voice over this and we'll actually be going through this castle or whatever it may be and maybe fight tubba blubba in the next ep episode i'm so sorry if you did enjoy this be sure to leave a like if you haven't already i'd really appreciate that don't forget to hit subscribe as well because that lets me know that you guys enjoy the content on the channel i'd like to see more i need these hiccups to go away yeah uh, i'd like to give a shout out to my friends gabe and barry medley for being members of the channel and if you want to become a member you can hit the join button down below i said that in the wrong way but i've been savvy and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys see you later